It also works as a bit of a, a vasoconstrictor. So the lidocaine that I dispense here is without epinephrine. And that's just because um, beginners might inject epinephrine into a finger and then you lose the finger. Because if you inject, vaso, if you inject a vasoconstricting medication into an extremity, uh, you, can, you can cause a necrosis of the finger. So lidocaine I dispense is without epi. But if you want that sort of vasoconstricting effect because someone's like bleeding and you need to suture it, you can mix a little epinephrine in the lidocaine and you can uh, numb the wound with both and it'll stop the bleeding too. Prednisone, very important to have a course of prednisone available. Any sort of inflammatory condition you have. If you have an allergic reaction, you want to get prednisone on board as well. If you have a painful nerve pain, prednisone. If you have a respiratory condition, prednisone. So super helpful, especially patients who are under a lot of you know, stress or infection stress, prednisone. Unfortunately, prednisone does come with a side effect. It is a bit immunosuppressive. It can predispose someone to getting maybe a yeast infection or a shingles outbreak because it's a bit immunosuppressive. It's kind of a double-edged sword. It can be very helpful anti-inflammatory, but it can also suppress the immune system if you use it too much for too long.